guys, Kelly here, and uh, today I will be showing you how to uh, dual boot Ubuntu Linux or GNOME on your Mac OS X computer. I'm on just Mac OS currently, you see OS Sierra, uh, it is late 2012, and those are my specs for now, but I uh, don't think those really matter at this point, uh, so let's get into it. Um, what you will need is a Ubuntu GNOME. Uh, doesn't matter which one, anyone works. And you will need the ISO file. And so once you download this, well, I'll have this link down in the uh, description. But once you download this, it'll be on your desktop. I I have that here. Yes, see, and uh, what you'll need is unit bootin. Well, that's all. That'll be uh, down in the description, so you can just download that. And what you do is you open it up. You want to have a about four gigabyte, eight gigabyte USB in the uh, back of your computer. Doesn't matter where it's plugged in. Um, you want to enter your password here. And when it opens, you, it'll pop up this GUI screen. And what you want to do is you want to hit disk image. And see, mine's, in, mine's already have already has everything in it. So uh, this will be different for me. But anyways, uh, you go through here, you just hit disk image ISO. And you want to hit these three dots and you want to find your Ubuntu GNOME file. And once you find those, you... You want to see type USB. This will all be set up already, and uh, yeah, you just hit OK. It'll go through all that, and you should be finished. And you won't really need this Ubuntu GNOME anymore. And it your USB will be like this. What you will also need is Refined. That's the uh, manager. And so what you're gonna need to do now is go to Spotlight and type in Disk Utility. And when you're in disk utility, you want to go to your current Apple hard drive and you type, and you go to partition, and you want to make this at least 20 gigabytes. I recommend if you plan on downloading anything, uh, at least 60 to 80 gigabytes. See, I already have mine here. You can hit it and you hit plus. It'll create a new partition. See, if it has a small face right here, this is your Mac partition. You don't want to overrate that. Otherwise, you'll have lots of problems. And you want to go down, it doesn't matter here, you can see the size here. But uh, yeah, since I already have my partition, you hit that, find the size and a format. I just have mine journaled, you can just leave it as that. And uh, just hit apply. And then after this, what you're going to want to do is reboot your computer. I'm not going to do that right now. I, I'll just leave this. Um, yeah, I'll just leave this for now. But uh, what you do is when you reboot your computer, you want to hold Command R, and it should load a boot op or no, hold Option down. As soon as it goes to your rebooting screen with the Apple symbol, you hold down Option. It should come up with where you want to boot from, and what you want to do is boot from your USB. So mine would say win install, and what you want to do is boot from your USB. And when you go through that, it'll offer to download the drivers for Ubuntu GNOME and the uh, other drivers. And you want to hit accept and download those. And after you want to choose your partition, but when you go to p choose your partition, you want to format it. Is it'll be like M3 or something, or it'll be just your uh, the regular partition with the one that you chose to uh, create 80 gigabytes on. Once you go through that, it'll download, and you should come back up with Ubuntu GNOME on that. If that does not work, leave a message down in the comments below. I will show another video on how to uh, get a refined boot manager working if it is not working for you. And uh, 
Yeah, have a good day, guys.